The following is a special presentation of Pens TV. Hockey is a team game, but on occasion, the rink can feel like the loneliest place in the world. We don't see the guys too often, the injured guys. They're usually in early and, uh, and, and out early. Ben Lovejoy broke his wrist in early November. Penguins strength and conditioning coach Mike Kadar has been keeping him company ever since. Some guys pay thousands of dollars to do what I do, and I get paid to do it, right? These guys are the best at what they do, and I get to go out and work with them. And with Benny, uh, I think he's six to eight weeks, so for me, that's almost a full, complete off-season training session. As a professional athlete, uh, you're, you're always worried about your conditioning, and uh, oh my God, am I getting fat? It's been two weeks, I haven't done anything. Ben is uh, in the unfortunate uh, stage of having something wrong, which he can still skate. I'm with Mike Kadar, battling. We skate for just over an hour and I'm dying. It's so hard to play this game. Uh, it requires such, such good physical stamina. And right now, I'm just working on getting there. As Lovejoy worked toward a return, the Penguins were finally close to working with a full lineup. It was nice. Um, you know, it, it was uh, definitely um, good to see everyone back in the lineup. I know the fans were excited about it and uh, the players were, everyone was it showed. The Penguins went 5-1-1 one one in their first seven games with a healthy Sidney Crosby. There was some excitement about having everybody out on the ice to have Gino Sid and Stalzi out there together and uh, most of our defensemen. Pittsburgh emerged from a four-game road trip with three victories, but three fewer defensemen. It's unfortunate uh, that we're back uh, you know, to losing a few guys again, but um, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll find a way to still win you. Seemingly all the Penguins were finding were more injuries. A visit from the defending champions once again left Pittsburgh without its captain. It's been, it's been busy. It's uh, a lot of unfortunate injuries, just trying to battle through it. I've never seen anything like it. What Pittsburgh has seen are 32 different players in its lineup this season more than any other team in the NHL. I would like to be back as soon as possible. I want to play. Our decor has been hit with the injury bug. We've been decimated, and I'm hoping uh, to play before Christmas. Before embracing the holiday spirit, the Penguins had to pay a visit to their cross-state rivals. Obviously, it's two teams that don't like each other too much, especially with what happened with Jaeger and Max and switching sides. With a business like this, you don't get to play with a player for too long, uh, for the most part. and. Uh, um, he was a good friend, and um, it was uh, definitely an odd, uh, odd moment when I heard he went to Philly. To see him in person, you know, in the hallway wearing orange was a little odd. And shoots it back to the front of the net, and Flurry with Talbot right there in front of him. Facing an old teammate is never easy. Neither is losing to the Flyers. Score! Simmons right in the paint. And he directs it in on a power play goal for Philadelphia, makes it 2 to nothing. With only one win in their last five games, the Penguins were looking for answers. Hockey is an easy game when it's viewed from behind the glass. But Pittsburgh had too many spectators. A lot of it was uh, um, just the way the injuries were going down and not knowing uh, if a player's going to be in or out. I think that's a big part of it. I think uh, we're starting to feel the effect of that. It was a tough stretch. We had a lot of team meetings and some discussions on how to get it back, and uh, you know the word compete was, was one word that we used quite a bit. This hockey team is full of leaders, and I think that um, you know, when you win championships, you learn what it takes to win. You'll learn what you have to do on a daily basis to be successful, and there's a lot of guys that know exactly what to do. You know, it's, uh, it's about a lot of opportunities for a lot of guys in the room uh, to show them what they got, and that in itself is uh, keeping the room upbeat and uh, ready to play the next game. The Penguins' next game Came at home against Buffalo. We knew it was a big game, and you know we we knew we had to win it, and 
you know, teams are creeping up on us and, uh, you know, we need to start getting some wins together. You know, even though we have, uh, you know, half our lineup out, we still got to, uh, you know, put, put, put win to get wins together. If we don't, we're not going to make playoffs. This has been a presentation of Penns TV.